Warren Buffett is famously considered as the greatest stock investor of all time. At 91 years old, he has a staggering net worth of more than $117 billion, while still being the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, the seventh largest public company in the world. If you want to become a successful stock investor, what better way to learn than from the legend himself? Here are Warren Buffett's seven golden rules of investing you need to start following today. Rule number one, don't lose money. Be a wise investor. Don't be foolish and leave your decisions to luck. Stop treating investing as a lottery ticket to wealth. Don't dive into an investment with the mindset that losing is fine. Do your research. You must have a compelling reason why you want to invest in one company. Warren Buffett only invests in companies within his circle of competence, businesses that he understands. He doesn't gamble with his money and neither should you. Rule number two. Never forget rule number one. Rule number three. If a company does well, the stock will eventually follow. Warren Buffett's mentor Benjamin Graham wrote a widely renowned book on value investing, The Intelligent Investor, which states that buying a stock is equivalent to owning a slice of that company. As a result, when Buffett is looking for a business to invest in, he looks for a company with a robust long-term prospect. Has the company been operating for many years? Does it stand as the market leader? Does it consistently generate huge profits regardless of the economy? If its stock price was selling below estimates for future growth, it could be a stock that Buffett would want to buy. Rule number four. The most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. If you want to become wealthy like Warren Buffett, don't think it will happen overnight. Buffett is a firm believer in buy and hold investing strategy. He has once said, if you are not willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. He even advises investors not to buy in Berkshire Hathaway unless they plan on holding their stock for at least five years. However, many people are unwilling to invest with a long-term goal in mind, which is exactly why Buffett proposes that investing success requires more discipline than knowledge. He believes that impatience is what causes people to lose money in the stock market. He emphasized, you need a temperament that neither derives great pleasure from being with the crowd or against the crowd. Rule number five, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. This statement from Buffett proves that he is a contrarian investor and it is wise to follow his lead when it comes to investing. Most of the time, when investors are enthusiastic, stock prices tend to rise. That's the time to be cautious or else you will overpay for the stock, resulting in poor returns. Paying too much for a stock will diminish your returns. To clarify this, a company's value is proportional to the earnings it generates and will generate over its lifetime. This value is calculated by discounting its cash flows in the future to its current value, which is also known as the intrinsic value. If you overpay for a stock, your profit will decrease as the stock price returns towards its intrinsic value in due time. On the other hand, when the market sentiment is negative and the majority is afraid to invest, it can be a good time to buy undervalued assets. Take advantage of pessimism when investors are afraid and stock prices are plummeting and you'll make higher returns. But be mindful that you don't invest blindly. As long as you conduct your research and find out that the business fundamentals remain strong, market dips are good buying opportunities. Rule number six. It's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. Being mentored by the father of value investing Benjamin Graham, Buffett himself became a proponent of value investing, where he purchased high-quality stocks at bargain prices. His main strategy is to maximize Berkshire Hathaway's earning capacity by acquiring companies that will create consistent earnings and capital gains for as long as possible. He was bargain hunting long-term value investments during the financial crisis of 2007 and 2008 
heavily investing in companies like Goldman Sachs and General Electric. He was purchasing these stocks with quickly dropping prices, while everyone else was cashing out. In order to decide which stock to pick, investors should lay down criteria for identifying excellent businesses and commit to that strategy. For instance, you may search for businesses that will do well regardless of the market cycle. Companies that sell products people will buy no matter what. You might want to look for companies with established brands that dominate their industries. You can also set a price you are willing to pay for these stocks, as long as you do not overpay for them. The main goal is to find the best company at the best price, with a good margin of safety, in the midst of a volatile market. Successful investing knows that the price of a stock does not amount to the value of its business. Before getting into rule number 7, kindly hit the like button if you're getting any value from this video. With that said, here is rule number 7. You may find that the best stocks are usually boring. We make no attempt to identify the few winners who will emerge from a sea of unproven businesses. We're not clever enough to achieve that, and we are well aware of it. Warren Buffett Stock market investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. In fact, the stock market is best suited to gradually growing your investment over a long period of time. Buffett prefers to invest in companies that have previously established their value, instead of trying to identify the next unicorn stock. The purpose of investing is to find high-quality companies that will appreciate in value over time. Berkshire Hathaway has consistently beaten the market because he applies this investment strategy. Most companies with long-term success actually have nothing exciting about them. They produce basic products and services like household goods, food and beverages, healthcare necessities, and other essential items that will always have high demand in the market. Buffett even warned, Beware of investment activity that generates praise. The major moves are frequently met with yawns. To him, it's not necessary to impress the world or anyone when he makes his investments. He has always embraced boring companies and that made him the sixth richest person in the world today. Make sure to check out the next video as you will surely get a ton of value from it. Thanks and see you again.